Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so these problems are circle graphs and proportions, which we used already. So remember, a proportion just means something over something equals something over something. Okay, that's all it is. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing you do is when you see a circle graph, you're going to see percentages on here. Okay, so like English, English says 30%. You've got to write this as a fraction when you're using it. So math is 40%, so 40 over 100. Science is 20 over 100. And PE is 10 over 100. You have to know that. That's super, super important. Okay? So what's going on here is if you look at our first problem here, if 500 students are polled, how many would like math? So you know you're going to, since it's math, you know you're going to use the math one, and math is this guy right here. So I'm going to write 40 over 100 equals. Now the question is, where do you put the 500? Do you put the 500 on top or the bottom? So here's the deal. When you are looking at this, here's the total. The total always goes in the bottom, and this is the, the smaller number. Goes on top. Okay, so in other words, the total, there are 500 students total that were pulled. So 500 goes on top. And when I say the smaller number, then you're going to say, oh, well, how many like math? So the smaller number is our variable. That's how many we're looking for, x. Okay, so the again, the total goes in the bottom. And that's the total is right here, 500 students. Okay, and then we just cross multiply. So we get x times 100, 100x equals 40 times 500, which again, you're going to use your calculator to do that, and you're going to get uh, 20,000. And then you divide by 100. Okay, and so then you get an answer of 200. And that's your answer. Okay, so remember the total. So like this next one, it says if 30 students like science, that's that's my small number. Okay, I want to know how many students were polled. So that's the, this is the total. So that's going to be my variable. So let's look at science first. Science is 20 over 100. So we're going to write 20 over 100 equals um, the total is what I don't know, and I know 30 students like science. Okay. So you cross multiply, so you get 20x equals 3,000, okay? And then you divide by 20, okay? And again, you're going to always use your calculator, and then you get x equals 150, okay? So that's how many students are pulled. Now, remember, the smaller number is always on top, so... Um, or the, I'm sorry, the small, yeah, the smaller number is on top. So if you notice, this is 30, it's the small number. 150 is the bigger number, okay? So if that ever kind of messes up and you have the wrong number, you have a bigger number on the top, you, then you, you switched them. Okay, let's go to uh, number three. If 300 students were polled, how many would like PE? So I'm going to go to PE right away, and there it is. PE is 10 over 100. So 10 over 100, that's PE. That's easy. So how many would like PE? That's my small number. Okay, and the total is on the bottom. So we get 100x equals 3,000 divided by 100. So x equals 30. So 30 people would like PE. See, it's pretty easy. Next one, uh, it's another PE question. Okay, but now it says 50 like PE, but I'm still going to use the 10 over 100. And it says 50 liked PE, so 50 is on top. It says how many students were pulled. That's my total. So we're going to call that X. Okay, so we cross multiply. 10X equals 5,000 divided by 10. X equals 500. Okay, two more. 400 people were told, okay, English. Let's go to English. English is 30 over 100. So 30 over 100. And 400 were pulled. I wonder how many like English. So that's my small number on top. Okay. So we're going to multiply. Uh, well, we have 100x equals 12,000 
using your calculator, divide by 100. So x is equal to 120. Okay? All right, last one. If 40 students like math, so let's go to math. Math is 40%, so it's 40 over 100. So 40 over 100. And 40 like math, so the 40 goes on top. And how many students were polled? So you cross multiply, 40x equals 4,000. Divide by 40. X is equal to 100. Okay, so uh, really pretty easy to do this. Just remember the totals on the bottom and the individual one is on top, the smaller numbers on top. That's it, math fans. Goodbye.